Now let us discuss this problem. So this is related to finding the maximum height. Let me first make the diagram for this problem and then we'll discuss uh, what this problem says. So there is a something like of this kind of diagram you have. So this kind of diagram you have. So there is a this height is given to you h. And the radius of this circular part is h by 2 and this is a half circle. Now let me read the question. So this point they are calling as A. A small object A starts sliding from height h down an inclined groove pass passing into a half circle of radius h by 2. So this object starts sliding down this groove and then come to the half circular <laughs> part and this is a smooth that is mu is equals to 0 so I can apply energy conservation. Assume that the friction is negligible. Find the velocity of the object find the velocity of the object at the highest point of its trajectory after breaking of the groove. So we have to find what is the velocity at highest point. So velocity of object at highest point. So what we have to find is velocity of object object at highest point. So when it reaches to the highest point what is the velocity? After the breaking off, you have to also consider after the breaking off. Highest point after breaking of the group. So this is given in the question. So what will be the velocity after the breaking off? So let us say if this is coming from here. The object can lose the contact of this groove somewhere. So let us say if it loses contact I can make another diagram. So this object is coming it will come somewhere here it will come here it will start going into the circular part at some theta this will lose the contact. So let us say I want to solve for that theta what will be the theta. So let us say this is the theta when it loses the contact. So this theta the object just loses the contact. So what will be the condition to lose the contact there should be normal reaction should be zero. Now we can write two equations, one from energy conservation, another from circular motion. So let us write first energy conservation. So if I write energy conservation, so what we will write is loss in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy. So if I apply energy conservation, what we will have is uh, loss in potential energy it should be equal to gain in kinetic energy. So I apply in this form generally. So let us say if it reaches here what will be this height? So this, uh, this is r so this will be r cos theta. Are you getting? So this height will be so let me write here so this height will be r cos theta and r is h by 2 so this is h by 2 cos theta total height is h so what is the loss so this is the loss if I make a diagram something like this so this height is h by 2 so I can make this so that you can have no confusion so this height is h by 2 this height is h by 2 cos theta so what is the loss so initial height it was at here now it is somewhere here so from the ground you see this height is h by 2 cos theta and this height is h by 2. So initially it was a height of h now it has a height of this that is h minus h by 2 cos theta h by h yeah this is this height is h by 2 this height is h by 2 cos theta so this height is h by 2 minus h by 2 cos theta. Are you getting so what is the loss are you getting or not? Okay, let me explain again. This height is h, this height is h by 2 and this height is h by 2 cos theta. So this height is h by 2 minus h by 2 cos theta. So what is the loss? Okay, this is the loss. Are you getting now? So this is the loss. 
initial it was here now it is here so what is the loss so this this h minus so loss is so loss in potential energy i can write mgh and loss is h minus h by 2 plus h by 2 cos theta i think all of you are able to understand and gain in kinetic energy is half m b square if you are having some problem in height you do yourself you will get the answer so this is mg h by 2 plus h by 2 cos theta is equal to half mb square okay if you are not able to understand this term i will explain again so let us see what is the loss initially it was at a height of this now this is somewhere on the height of this so this height is basically loss in height initially it was here now it is here so this is loss and this height is h by 2 and this height is h by 2 cos theta because this is h by 2 radius is h by 2 so this has to be h by 2 cos theta so this height is h by 2 cos theta so this is h by 2 plus h by 2 cos theta that's the term i am getting here h by 2 plus h by 2 cos theta you can verify the same thing by many ways so you see m goes to also goes so we will have zh 1 plus cos theta is equals to v square are you getting so v square so v will be under root zh to goes out 1 plus cos theta are you getting so you see what we have so you have a circular path something like this so this is coming in a circular path and here you have somewhere here at this point now this angle is theta at this point it will have a tangential velocity so velocity is directed in this in this direction now it will have two components so velocity will have one component in the v y direction one component in the x direction are you getting so this is y direction and this is the x direction so you have two component of velocity if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta are getting so this is velocity this angle is theta now this is uh, tangential so this angle will be 90 minus theta and this angle will be theta try to see yourself once again using the idea that is angle between line is equal to angle between perpendicular upon this line this is the perpendicular upon this line this is the perpendicular so this theta so if this side will have velocity it will be b cos theta and this side will have that is the by component of velocity v sin theta So I can write here v by will be v sine theta, and v x will be v cos theta. Are you getting? Now see the question says you have to find theta when this reaches that this just breaks off. That is the normal reaction is zero. So in that case I have to apply a equation for circular motion. That is the total force towards center. So it should be equal to mass into acceleration. and then we will put the normal reaction is zero so you see what the force is that is acting so let me write here itself the force is acting is mg now in this direction what will the component so this angle is theta so this angle is also theta this angle is theta so this angle is theta so in this direction we will have mg cos theta and normal reaction this side will have so if i write the equation that is the total force towards the center so force to our center is equals to mass into acceleration to our center so force to our center is equals to n minus mg cos theta this is the force is equals to mass into acceleration so m b square by r are you getting so this is the b square by r and r is nothing but h by 2 are you getting now the question says this just breaks off so just breaks off this means normal reaction is zero because it just breaks off just break off it just breaks off in that case normal reaction will be zero so from there i can solve for velocity so let us see i think you have copied this one so i will have minus mg cos theta is equals to mv square by r h goes up so you will have 2 m goes out so you will have gh by 2 cos theta with a minus sign is equals to v square so b will be 
I think you can find from here. So V will be GH by 2 cos theta under root. So this is the condition for breaking off. So let us call this as equation 2. I have also found V, you see, I uh, using the energy conservation. So you see V is under root GH1 plus cos theta. Let us call this as equation 1. So now I can equate equation 1 and equation 2 to find out the velocity or cos theta. So equation 1 we have velocity is under root GH1 plus cos theta. This was the equation 1 you have. Let us say, I can equate equation 1 and equation 2. I think, are you, are you able to see this one or not? Yeah. So, equation 1 and equation 2, if I equate, so minus gh by 2 cos theta should be equal to gh uh, 1 plus cos theta. So, gh goes out. So, we will have minus cos theta is equals to 2 this side. So, 2 plus 2 cos theta. So, we will have minus 3 cos theta is equals to 2 so cos theta will be minus 2 by 3 so you see negative of cos theta says so says that this should be obtuse so it will not leave the contact in the middle part because the cos theta is negative this means theta is greater than pi by 2 are you getting or not this means this subject has basically not so let us say here this subject is basically not losing contact here. It will lose contact somewhere here because theta is greater than pi by 2. Even if you have taken this as initially you could have taken theta from horizontal. In that case you will get theta positive. But now we have taken theta from theta that is less than pi by 2 and that, that's why I am getting theta negative. That says that it will lose the contact only after when it goes above the horizontal position. Then it will lose the contact. Now see, when it loses the contact, what should be the motion? Now the motion will be very easy. It will move in a parabolic path. So this is the initial situation you have. Let us say it loses the contact here. And after the losing the contact, it has a two velocity. It has a Vx. It will also have a V by. Are you getting? Because the velocity is here. You see, in the last diagram, I have done something uh, wrong. So this is the wrong. You see, B, B, I have shown this B. Uh, okay, this is right. B is this. So, you will have Vx cos theta. And you will have Vy. Direction will keep changing. So, initially the velocity is in this direction. Okay, so, uh, after some time, what will happen? This subject will lose the contact and it will go up. When, when it reaches at the highest point, Vy will be 0. Only Vx will remain. So you have to find what is the velocity at highest point. When it reaches the highest point, Vy will be 0. Only Vx will be remain. And Vx I have already written. Vx is equal to V cos theta. And now the value of V is, you see, you can use any equation. V is either use 1 or 2. So V is under root GH1 plus cos theta. So if I put this value under root GH1 plus cos theta, and into cos theta. So this is cos theta is minus 2 by 3. So 1 minus 2 by 3 is 1 by 3. So gh by 3 into minus 2 by 3. So this is the velocity we will have. And now minus sign says the direction x I have taken, the velocity will be negative in the direction. So I can write this velocity, final velocity will be Vx will be minus 2 by 3 gh by 3 under root. Now why I am getting minus sign I can explain you. Because for my case in the figure if you see basically I have assumed this object is losing contact somewhere here. If it is somewhere here then, then Vx will be this and by will be this. But actually the case is it is losing some contact somewhere here. If it loses contact here, in that case, 
bx will be in this direction and by in this direction are you getting so i have said bx will be v cos theta simply and my x direction is there that is the positive direction but actually when it loses contact here the velocity gets reversed it will have in this direction and it will have in this direction b y will in this direction so minus sign says me the v cos theta that is the direction i have assumed in this direction that is not right it will be in opposite direction that is true because it is losing contact somewhere here so the vx will be directed towards this side and the value will be 2 by 3 so i can write vx magnitude by it will 2 by 3 under root gh by 3 and direction will be this direction and that is obvious also if it loses the contact it will go this side only so this also says it cannot lose contact before horizontal because before horizontal it does not have velocity in the negative x direction it has velocity in the positive x direction are getting so let us copy this one i think this is a good problem in this problem you see we have applied three kind of concept we have applied the conservation of energy and that you have to write very very uh in a good way so that you can have the result accurate result sometime writing the loss in height finding the height is difficult task so you have to be very careful in finding the height this is the one point we have the next important point we have we have used the concept of circular motion in this problem that is the normal reaction is zero when the system when the ball when the disc leaves the plane in that case velocity will normal reaction will be zero so we have used the concept of total force to the center is equals to mass into acceleration that is the one concept and the second we have used the third concept the concept of parabola are you getting what is the concept that is if it loses the contact on the horizontal circular path it has a two velocity